The most anticipated events of the new year, the Rose Parade in California. This time around, Arizona was well represented. Sure were. ABC 15's Benton Blandon has the connections to our state on this annual tradition. The pageantry of the Rose Bowl, it's not just the big game. The parade also gets plenty of attention. A group from Arizona took part in Monday's famous event. It's been a very exciting week and the kids have worked extremely hard. We've had several performances leading up to the Rose Parade. Renee Shane Boyd is director of the Foothills Falcon Band at Catalina Foothills High School in Tucson. The 250 plus member band marched about two hours, she says, stretching five miles in front of parade goers. I think the biggest response from the kids was that they were surprised we were finished, that it, they thought it would be longer. One of the band's four drum majors found the atmosphere surprising. Everyone is just thrilled to be there and getting to be able to see all of the other bands who have worked just as hard as we have is really just something amazing. And as the crowd represents people from all over the country, Arizonans took center stage. It's representing where we come from and we are showing off our uniqueness, especially with Gabby Giffords. Former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords, with her husband, Senator Mark Kelly, by her side, served as the parade's grand marshal. The marching band is familiar with her use of music during her recovery after being shot nearly 12 years ago. When we met her, she spoke to us a little bit about that. Uh, and she really, I think, represents what this parade is going for this year with turning the corner. The emotion was a bit different for Deborah Edenhofer. Her son Tyler was an Arizona State Trooper killed in the line of duty in 2018. She shared video with ABC 15 of her placing a rose on the float, showing his image made of flowers. Even when I saw the photograph for the first time, I painted his eyebrows and it, I felt like he was there. And so was a message she hopes to float with her son was sending. You know, you can save lives. My son contributed to 22 people, and I just wish that everybody could do that. In Phoenix, Vincent Blandon, ABC 15, Arizona. Oh, Vinny, thank you.